Hello, I am your man lawyer, and obviously, um, a lot of people have been having issues with this. So I gotta tell you the man law do's and don'ts to meeting your girlfriend's father. So I got a lot to talk about, man. I got a lot to show y'all. But I'll start here. Exhibit A. How are you doing, young man? So God damn it's like a face grip. Man law do number one. When you meet your girlfriend's father, you must get the firmest handshake you ever gave in your entire life. This is what all the training was for. You have to assert your dominance from the very onset. When you grab this man's hand, you must make him crumble to his knees so he understands that you ain't playing with him, that, that, that you're the new king of the jump, all right? That's, you must assert your dominance from the very beginning. Okay, boy, eat up. Woo! That was delicious. My God, that's impossible! Man law dude number two. When you guys go to eat dinner and, and her father is there, you must finish your plate before he does. This is key in asserting your dominance and letting him know that you you, 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 you new king of the jungle. All right? You must finish your plate first. By the time he even taking a bite, you should be already licking your fingers. He should demolish that food. All right? He'll know that he's not faster, not stronger, and cannot digest just faster than you. All right, this is another psychological warfare that you're playing on him. He knows this guy's just better than me. What's your intentions with my daughter? <laughs> my intentions? What do you think my intentions are with your daughter? My intentions are the same intentions you have with your wife when she was somebody else's daughter. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking her back to the crib. And hey, you know what happens there. Man law do number three. Everybody knows that those fathers want to have those talks. When he asks, what is your intention with my daughter? You let him know that's none of his business because it's, she's no longer your daughter. She's my woman. You must tell him from flat out that she's you lost her. She's gone. She's mine now. And I ain't giving her back. All right? Don't let him question what you're going to do with his daughter. This is your woman now. All right? It's no longer his daughter. He gave her away. She's yours now. All right? And you, you, he shouldn't be questioning what you're doing with, with your girl. All right? All right, now you better have a home by 12. The next day. Tell the officer she's been kidnapped. No, I don't know. It, somebody had to have snatched her off the streets. I know she's gone. I know she's missing. She should have been home by now. Hold on, officer. There's somebody at the door. Where the hell have you been with my damn daughter? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, Pops, relax. Relax, all right? I brought her here two hours early. You said bring her by 12. I brought it two hours early. What are you so upset about? I don't, I don't get what's going on. I'm at 12 a.m., not 12 p.m. Are you stupid? Man law, don't, number one. This is what you got to do. When, when your her father sets a curfew for you guys, oh, be home by 10. You come at 10.30 or later. Don't follow his rules. He don't make rules around here. He don't tell y'all when to come, when to go. His time is over. It's your time now, all right? So tell him, hey, I might be back at 10, but probably I'm gonna be back later. And let him know that, listen, bro, if, if he tells you 10, make sure you're there at 10.05 or later. Because at the end of the day, you made the rules, not him. Now my baby girl got my heart. I want you to take care of her. Here's some money, take her somewhere nice. What's this? What, 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 what's, what's all this? That's it? No, 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 you, you joking, right? What, 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 what the rest of it? That, that's it. This little bit of change, man. I'm trying to take a trip out to Paris and take your daughter out, wine and dinner. You know what I'm saying? Have, make her have a great time. And you give me this little change? You said you love your daughter, man. What's up? Guess you don't love her that much. Come on, baby, let's go. Man law don't number two. Don't exchange no pleasantries. No thank yous, no congratulations, no highs and buys. When you see him, you give him the nod. All right, head nod, one. When you leave him, head nod, two. He know what it means. He know what it is. All right, ain't no thank you, hi, how you doing? What's up, bro? What's going on? That's it. That's how you talk to this man, all right? Because he's your equal. He's your peer. He ain't above you. You don't got to you know, bow down to this guy. You got to show him, hey, man, I, I ain't your kid, and I got your daughter. It is what it is. You got to accept this, because I already got it. 
Dang, Pops. I ain't know you be toting like that, man. What? That's a nice yeah. piece we got there, man. <laughs> I mean, it's a little something. Check it out. Oh, Pops ain't playing no games. I see it. It's a nice one. Yeah, man. I, I know what you do. I know what you're doing to my message. Your daughter, Pops. I get you. Now, you be careful. The safety's not on. All right, Pops, man. I, I understand you scared, bro. I held one of you before. I, I know how to handle this, man. Don't worry about it. I got it, bro. I understand the safety ain't on. Ain't no pressure. You know what I'm saying? I got it. God damn it. You shot me. Pops, you got a death wish, man? You trying to... You, come on, man. You trying to make me a murderer, bro? Why did you get in the way of the bullet? I was trying to shoot behind you. Why did you get in the way of the bullet, man? You crazy or something? Man law don't number three. And this is my most important man law. Don't you ever, and I mean ever, apologize to this dude. It don't matter what happens, all right? If you spill juice on his shirt, it's his fault because he was in your way, all right? If you step on his shoes, it was his fault because you didn't watch where he was going. If anything, he should be apologizing to you for spilling your juice and, and scuffing up your shoes, all right? All right, you don't want to step on his raggedy shoes. He should be apologizing to you. We, apologies show weakness. You do not show weakness to your girlfriend's dad. Doesn't happen, all right? You the man now. You you the guy. All right. He, his time is over. You the new you know you the new thing. All right. Don't ever apologize. It don't matter what happens. This court is adjourned. Now, guys, if you follow my man law do's and don'ts, your girlfriend's father may not like you, but he will respect you and he will let you take your daughter out on Valentine's Day. So, guys, get in the comment section. I don't need a jury to get in the comment section, man. Tell me if you agree, you disagree. Put that in the comment section below and check out one of my videos that just popped up. I'm gonna see y'all next time.